Introducing Morgan Wooten is his sponsor, legendary Celtics coach Red Auerbach. Thank you. you know, I'm going to tell you what makes a great basketball coach control, discipline, respect, knowledge of the game, and the love of the game. Morgan Wooten had it all. He loved the game, he loved the kids, he was a teacher. You know, you hear about coaches, when they win, it's fine. When they lose, they build character. Well, Morgan Wooten, he built character whether he won or whether he lost. Now, I'm not just speaking off the cuff because I know the guy. I watched his teams. I went down there. I see how he controls. He's always in command without being loud or brash or any of that. I always had a lot of respect for him, and I could never figure out, never in my life, can I figure out why he didn't go to college and perhaps have been a pro coach. Because this guy really loved the game, loved the kids, his kids respect him, and he proved it because whenever they talk about a high school coach anywhere, his name comes up. He's a friend, and I'm proud to call him a friend, and I was very honored when he asked me to introduce him. And if anybody ever deserved to be enshrined in this Hall of Fame, it's Morgan Wooten, and I'm proud to sponsor that. Thank you so much. Good job. James Brown. Congratulations. Do you have his ring on? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't think Red was going to give up that ring for a minute. <laughs> Morgan Wooten, while it's true that the Basketball Hall of Fame may be long overdue in inducting a member of the high school coaching ranks, how fitting it is that you be the first. And so by the vote of the Honors Committee, and by the power of the Board of Trustees, it's a privilege for me to induct you as a coach into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame with all its rights and privileges. Congratulations. Go over here, Red. Yeah. You go down. What a wonderful night. You know, we um, all share one thing in common here tonight, and that's a great love affair with a game of basketball. And so it makes it very, very special. And it's so special to be in the class of 2000. I think of the wonderful people here like Pat Summit, C.M. Newton, Bob McAdoo, and Isaiah, my idols. They're the greatest. And, uh, and you're just a member of that class um, is something that I will never, ever forget. Um, and have Red Arback, Mr. Basketball himself, say all those beautiful things, who's been a mentor to me, a friend to me from the very first day that I started coaching. He taught me about basketball and not only life, Read from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very, very much. And for James Brown to escort me up here. James was one of my great players, one of my greatest friends. A coach should be so lucky to coach a guy like James Brown. 
and he, he has a very, very tough schedule. He's got to leave here at about 5 o'clock tomorrow morning to get to L.A., you get that uh, bunch in, in shape for Sunday. I know when you get Chris and Howie and the lovable redneck going, that we're going to talk a little basketball on Sunday, James, okay? He says that he will. He promises Fox NFL Sunday a little basketball talk. So that'll be all right, huh? And speaking of mentors, tomorrow it is the 90th birthday of Coach John Wooden. And I know he'll be watching this, and uh, we can all uh, wish him a very happy 90th birthday. He's doing just great. What a, what a wonderful night this is. Almost unimaginable for me, a guy that started coaching at an orphanage 50 years ago, that I'd ever be standing up here and getting to represent so many wonderful people. And, and indeed, this is a team award. The DeMatha family, so many of you that are here tonight, you, you honor me beyond any way I could even begin to express it. All of you that have come down here, my, my family, relatives and friends, guys here that I went to grade school with are sitting down there. It's just almost unbelievable. Uh, a guy from my first team at St. Joe's is sitting right there, one of the greatest athletes I ever coached, Angelo. And uh, it's just unbelievable to have so many wonderful, wonderful people here tonight. Um, you know, I coached at St. Joe's for two years, and the, the dean of coaches in the Washington area, Joe Gallagher, looked at me, and he gave me a call, and he said, Morgan, how would you like to try coaching in high school? And Joe gave me my chance, and God, what a wonderful guy he has been through the years. Joe, thank you for being here tonight, and thanks for that chance. And I hope that I can represent high school coaches in a, in a good way all the way and maybe open some doors here. The DeMatha family, the Trinitarians, were good enough to come along. And Louis Amico gave me my chance to go to DeMatha 45 years ago and, and to build something that we, I think we all are really, really proud of. And so to DeMatha, to all the faculty that are here tonight, to the DeMatha family, and to the Trinitarians from the bottom of my heart, thank you. They've always been great to me. Um, my 10 grandchildren are here tonight. And on Saturday, we're going to have a, a, a double baptism. And Father Damien, my lifelong friend, is going to be doing the, the honors at St. Michael's. So we're really looking forward to that. But you know, you hear all these um, wonderful words said about you. I think if, if you keep things in proper perspective, you are right. Um, my grandson Nick's here tonight. And when he was in grade school, uh, or not nursery school, I'm sorry, nursery school, they asked him to all the children to list their favorite activity. And he listed baseball. And uh, the teacher said, why baseball? He said, well, he said, my daddy knows all about baseball. He can teach me to be a great baseball player. And uh, she said, well, I thought maybe you'd list basketball. He said, no. He said, um, I don't know anybody that knows anything about basketball. <laughs> and she says, well, some people think that your grandfather knows a little something about basketball. He said, oh, no, I go to all his games. He never gets in. <laughs> But the, uh, <laughs> Thank you. But, but the rest of the class, we all know the, the requirements for getting into the Hall of Fame. As a player, you have to be retired five years. And um, we can all rest assured because uh, the teacher asked Nick this year, and he's in the second grade, he's really on the ball, right, Nick? And they asked him, Nick, what do you think about your grandfather being inducted in the Hall of Fame? He said, well, I'm glad that he made that head of Michael Jordan. <laughs> So we can all feel pretty good about that, Pat. So we, we should be all right that we made out of Mike. Uh, but you know, so many to thank. You can't name all the names, but really, this is a team award. It's a team honor. I'm, I'm accepting on behalf of all the great players I had a chance to coach in either football or basketball, all my great managers, the great coaches that I've coached with, uh, an incredible amount, uh, group of people like James Brown, Adrian Dantley, who's here tonight. I wonder if all the players, the managers, the uh, the athletes that I've had the honor of coaching. Would you please stand up, because I know a lot of you have come down here. Would you please stand up if I ever coached at any level, please? Thank you very much. You're special. You're a great gang of guys. And, and thank you for taking me along for the ride of a lifetime. Finally. 
And of course, I should mention my golfing buddies out there, but they treat me so miserable on the first tee, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, but you know, finally, what a wonderful family I've been blessed with. Three wonderful daughters, Kathy, Carol, and Patricia, that are here tonight. Two sons, I got to coach them both, and they played on championship teams, Brendan and Joe. Uh, God bless them, they've been the most supportive and wonderful five kids that a, that a dad could ever have. Uh, a wife, as Hubie said so well, you just can't make it in this business unless you have a supporting wife. And I have the greatest and most understanding wife in the world, a great mother, great wife, my friend, my love. If I could ask Kathy, Kathy, would you please stand up? Please stand up. Kathy, please. And, thank, and finally, I want to thank God. As Metal Ark said so well, that God's been so good to all of us. And he allowed me to be a teacher and a coach, which I think is the greatest honor I've ever had to work with our young people. And so I want to thank our good Lord. And um, a little poem that goes like this would maybe fit us all. It's this crowd on earth, how soon they forget the heroes of the past. They cheer like mad until you fall, and that's how long you last. But God, he never does forget. And in his hall of fame, just by believing in his son, inscribed, you'll find your name. And my belief in prayer is that one day all of us will be in that hall that really counts, the one up in the sky. God bless you. Thank you for a great, great night. Thank you. Thank you.